sweep auger inside, I'll show you. I think I got the front hopper just a tad bit full. <laughs> but anyway, it's all right. I'll hit the brakes and that'll lay forward a little bit. Uh, back here on the back side, I load it to the back side so the weight won't shift toward the front. It'll shift toward the back. Uh, it's surprising this stuff doesn't slide. you think it would all slide forward when the you know, bumps and hitting the brakes, but it doesn't for the most part. So I'll pile it up good in the back there and then uh, tap the brakes, lay it forward a little bit, especially in the front. I can get the tarp to shut over that. But anyway, we're loading on a farm here with canola. You can load on your gauges depending on where you're going. Uh, we're going to Kansas. You can load 85,000 off the interstate. So uh, I'll probably get around that with this load. Um, so on my truck, I pull forward at 60. And then I put the back gauge on 70. And then that the front gauge will be on 70. That's usually about 85. So... But anyway, watch your gauges. You can see, I'll show you the gauge on the trailer where we're at. Let's see if we are. We want to be on 70. We'll stop at 70. So. Anyway, it's been rainy on and off today. But it's quit raining now, so we're getting this stuff loaded up. Going to Goodland, Kansas with it. All right. <laughs>